Hi lovely, so I'm just taking my walk down to the beach and I just have all these thoughts running through my mind and it's just, I have so much passion and so much drive and so many dreams and I just feel sad that I'm stuck inside of this body and like my body doesn't look sick I am most of the time my face does but I don't have gashes or wounds or bumps or bruises but this body or mind is not working and I know that God's going to do something through it and I get a lot of comments from people messaging me about how they admire me and how they can't believe I can keep a positive attitude through this being ill and it's so sweet but I really don't um, there's absolutely nothing admirable about me and um, <sighs> there's just so much more that I wanted to do with this life that I was given and I have to trust God that he's going to work through me even being ill it's hard coming to doors that are constantly closed because not for lack of trying but because they're not the right doors to be opened I want to open them I want to mess up I want to go after dreams that I'm not supposed to and fail and live my life and be passionate and scream my emotions and build this personality that doesn't revolve around being ill it's, it's honestly exhausting on top of everything else and it's hard when you don't see any end in sight I know a lot of people will look at me and say, you know, there's people that are a lot worse off than you. And I don't mean it to be something like that. Like I always say, pity isn't cute. So don't even pity yourself. But it's just, I don't know, maybe you guys can help me out with the word that I feel, but I can't really explain it. the word that I feel that I can't give back to the world and be as energetic and go out and do the millions of things that I want to do, like go on a missions trip or just go back to the job I had and do hair and do makeup and run around and date without the first question being about me being ill and being able to exercise and just be out in like the beautiful outdoors literally um, and I know I am so blessed I know that um, and I do appreciate all of those things and I have amazing friends and I have uh, I have friends that take me as I am and I never thought I would have friends like that in my life um, I'm learning to be my own person and 
praying each day that my friends stick with me through that, through changing. Um, it's almost like I'm having a midlife crisis and I am changing my personality because I'm just learning how to be me and what that looks like because, um, you know, I'm over a year and a half in recovery and, um, my identity was wrapped up in other people and so I'm figuring out how to be me and the kindest, best version of myself, but it has to be built on a solid foundation of knowing who I am and I don't know that at all right now and um, I don't handle my illness with grace, I don't handle my friendships with grace or kindness. Um, I'm not an easy person to listen to um, every single day on my life with chronic pain. And um, But his strength and his kindness and his grace is um, probably what people see. That's kind of probably why I don't understand why I get that comment from people. Kind of like, hmm, are you sure you're texting this to the right person? Are you sure you're messing this to uh, painful hilarity? Um, but yeah, I'm just clinging to that. And um, I hope I never stop clinging to that. But yeah, maybe you guys could help me out with what that emotion is, what that, the emotion of feeling like all your drive and passion and dreams are all pent up inside of you, stuck in a body that is broken. I don't know. But, um, I'm sorry if you hear loud crashing and whooshing sounds, that's the ocean and it's high tide and we also have hurricane waves coming in, so they're pretty crazy right now. Um, so I'm going to continue on my walk, but I hope you guys are having a pain-free, stress-free day. And sending out X double O's, and as always, I will talk to you guys tomorrow. Bye!